hi hello guys welcome back to my channel it's really nice to have you guys here in today's video we're going to be learning how to develop an ai model to predict emotion as you can see i have an uh, example here that it was able to predict uh, a sad emotion of myself so but we're going to be able to predict different kind of emotions using this ai model we're going to be able to uh, predict angry disgust fear happy neutral sad and surprise right so because this is the data that we are using the fer 2013 so we're going to use this to be able to predict different kind of emotion uh, on faces of people right so um we're going to be coding our model from scratch i'm, I'm going to be um training our model from scratch so i'll be just be copying the code that i've written before and i want you guys to just follow through by just typing because when you type the code right you are also learning don't just look for code that you just you know copy from anywhere because i wrote mine from scratch before you know before copying and pasting. okay so let's get started so um the first thing that we need of course that we always do is you know to uh, uh call some libraries that we're going to be using so we should know all this by now um so tensorflow you know this is the model that we are using that will be able to train and some of uh library that are like ai libraries right so um to kind of um uh, structure our model right so um just run this if you have specific question about any of these libraries just let me know i will uh i will explain okay so that's done then the next thing i think is to download our data so uh because the data is here you know so i already downloaded it and just put it somewhere um, so that you guys can also download it. So this link, I will put it in the, I will, I'll, I'll put this code in the description so that you guys don't make mistake, okay? Uh, so if you get everything right, you should be able to download it. So that's the data that we are using. The, the data is really small, 63 MB, uh, compared to the food one that we did uh, in the last video. All right so the next thing so we downloaded it as a zip file so now so in here you, sh you should see a zip file right there see so but now we, we need to unzip the file so this is the code to unzip the file all right so good I think the unzip is done. When you unzip it, you should be able to see something like this. Test and train. All right. So the next thing that we need to do is to actually do some data uh, cleaning and data augmentation. So like this one is just to, so if, if you can see, if you see these images, right, they are kind of, grayscale images different angles and all of that so we, we need to kind of make them uniform right to make them look the same so that the ai uh, will be able to train better right so that's what all of this is for us you can see we rotate it by this we, we shift it by this we, we zoom it you know horizontal flip and all of that you know so um hopefully you guys are able to see this so you can pause the video then you go all the way right okay so but this one is really long so um you know what, what i'm gonna do i will do this let's do this so that you can see it in one so i'm gonna run that you can pause the video to look at that and i'm gonna run this i think that's better good so you see we have twenty eight thousand seven hundred nine images for training and 7178 for testing all right so so then just a note to while writing the code don't don't use the, the gpu right so that you don't waste your gpu time i'm writing the code with the cpu when i'm done then i will switch to uh gpu to train right because the training will take a lot of time okay so um yeah so let's see what the next thing is gonna be I think the next thing is actually to to build our model 
right so let's see can this take one spot yeah it can take one spot okay so here uh our vdg model that we download uh that, that we call that that we added here so we, we just declare it here then we tell it the weight right because the vdg 16 model was already trained on different images before but we want to reuse it and retrain it for our own model right so that's what all of this is about right then this one is just meaning that we freeze some layer so that we can reuse the uh the uh, the weight in the then the learning rate is 0 0.001 okay so, so that means like how of like like the learning rate you know is you know like to make the training slower or faster if the training is slower the ai will train better you know if, if it's faster you know the ai will not be able to train better okay so hopefully you guys are able to get this one so we download it and everything is good okay so i think the next thing is actually to train oh this one uh no i don't think this one will be beneficial so I'll, I'll just leave it okay so this one is the actual training of the ai so um when when i was working on this you know like the ai was, was not like being trained really good you no know, like i was getting a, a accuracy of like 25 percent 20 percent right so i i did some uh some modification right uh to like like this one to stop early uh, to stop training early if the ai is not training better right if the ai is getting worse and then this this model checkpoint <clears throat> is to save the best uh model right and discard the rest okay so this this what this one is doing right so when you are done with this one don't run this one right now right but just make sure that you you write the, uh, the good code okay uh so because we are going to enable our gpu to run this one but before that let's still write some other code you know um so i'm going to write this one okay this one so this one also because after i finished running this the the training accuracy was still not good so i wrote uh, a different code to actually retrain the model you know uh and this is what i used to retrain the model so i so like the first one i trained it for 20 epochs this one for 10 epochs okay again don't run this right now okay so i think after this one we're gonna run it so then after that one then we want to just get our model accuracy which is just a very simple code this one is just to get how accurate our model is um yeah i think we should stop right there okay so yeah um so this code i think to, to this point we ran it so hopefully you guys wrote all this code correctly right with no errors because now we're going to switch to gpu um let me switch to my gpu runtime gpu to gpu okay So it's trying to connect then i think when i run in this my image will disappear because <laughs> i put it over the code so um so just click on run time and run all okay so that it will run everything because this one this one will take some time maybe i don't know maybe an hour or so then this one will take another time so just want to run everything so run all yeah you see that my image disappeared because <laughs> yeah um but anyways so now you see downloading the uh the oh, we, we did this one already right but because we are running from scratch because when, when, when you switch to gpu it will delete everything that you've run before right so now we are loading the so now the training just started you know um this will take a time so, uh, some time right 
I'll probably just fast the fast forward the video right so that I don't waste a lot of time on YouTube uh, but yeah I will leave now and I will come back when the training is done and I will tell you guys how long it took for me so that you can plan right thank you See hi hello guys um i'm back so um we can see that it is done it actually took less than 15 minutes you know surprisingly and we can see that our validation accuracy is 51 percent which is you know kind of good right not the best you know we could continue training and training you know maybe we'll get a better um accuracy but this is good for our testing okay so the next thing that we're going to do or oh, let me do this is to actually save our model right and uh save our uh, everything so that and download it you know in case we want to use it in future right um oh wait or maybe not download it uh let's just save it for now okay let, let me remove this so we just save this as our best model so now we want to test um this uh our ai uh within google collab so we want to be able to uh it to capture our face and then um we'll do the prediction okay so to do that we'll need to write a lot of code but there's actually a like a code in um in google collab that is already written for us so we'll just add the code into our uh google collab we don't need to write it so come here i think come to this place no not this one uh here so code snippet then you see right here this camera capture click on this plus sign then just say insert okay let's close this so you see it inserted this code for us but we don't need this one okay delete this one this is all we need okay then we're gonna put another code in here so um that is everything then we're gonna put this all right so you know what let's run this uh no don't let us run it for now just wait we're gonna put this one here then this is what we're gonna use to test our code uh give me a second to get the code where i wrote it uh, so this one so we'll take a picture then we'll read it then you remember what we used to train the ai is um gray image right gray images okay so that means the image that we are going to be taking is colored image so we have to convert it from the color to gray you know then gray back to colored you know for the um, uh for our ai to be able to use so that's for that one then the last code i believe yeah is just to display the prediction okay so this one just to display the, the prediction right so now let's run the code the first one let's run the code from our google collab so we run this one so this one when you run this one it will we are, we are going to take a picture um of ourselves in google collab okay so when, when you run this you have to give google chrome the the permission to use your camera right if you're on mac you know or windows or anything you have to give permission so when i click on this so you see the cell is requesting permission say accept so now we're going to run it again so you see now so for, for some people it, it will show in here then cancel then you, you have to come in here and allow okay so now let me try to see myself okay i'm seeing myself here so what what face should i make 
let me see let me make a happy face So that's my happy face. Let me use my glasses back. So now let's see. Let's run this. Okay, so now let's do the prediction if our AI is able to know that that's my happy, happy face. Oh, it says neutral. I think the lightning condition is not good. Okay, <laughs> so let me try one more time. Let me run it from here. Um, let me try it. Um, what can I do differently this time? Uh, give me a second. Let me turn off this light. Okay. So I turn off the light. Then... Wait. All right, <laughs> let's see this. You say happy, but <laughs> this is not happy. Okay, one more time. This is supposed to be worried. Let me see. Is, is there anyone that, uh, that is worried? Oops. Um, sad, neutral, happy, fear, disgust. So you see that when I, when I change the lightning condition or so, oh, something happens, so lightning condition is really really key. You know, if if your if your like your your room is really uh, like have good lightning, you know, it, sh it should be good, right? So let me do something. Let's see what that. I don't. I don't even know what what that means. Maybe I'm happy crying or anything. I don't know. So let's let's see. Hopefully not happy. <laughs> Surprise! See, it is working at least. <laughs> I don't think this is a surprise face though. <laughs> but I think it's more of the lightning condition. Okay. It's, you guys got the gist, you know. Like if I have time, I'll, I'll, I'll train the AI better, you know. So if, if you have a project, you know, you probably take time, you know. I can even use like take like several days to train the AI, right? But we just did it like in less than 15 minutes, and the accuracy is good a little bit, you know, and it's still able to predict some things, right? But this is definitely not neutral, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So. Um, Again, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, hopefully, you guys were able to learn one or two things, you know, from this video. And like uh, our AI series, like our um, machine learning series, is almost coming to an end. And the next series that we're going to be doing is actually uh, robots, right? So, um, uh, me well, yeah, maybe robots or any other thing. But yeah, hopefully, you guys were able to get, gain something here. And please don't forget to subscribe to. Uh, like and to share with people. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now